Hey everybody, I know you missed me, I really miss you too. Uh, I'm doing a lot of learning here today though, so I thought I would share some stuff with you so you can do some learning. So a quick little lesson on combinations, um, uh, how many combinations we can make from a set of items. So here we have a set of three items, n equals three or n of that set equals three, uh, a, b, and c, three letters. And how many different ways could I combine those? I could, for example, just choose one of them, just the a, and there, there's one. I could choose just the b or just the c, so there's three so far. I could choose A and B and leave off C, B, C, leave off A, A and C, leaving off B, or the seventh one is choosing all three of them, A, B, C. So you see this is a little bit different than when I would say something like, how many ways are there to choose uh, two letters? Well, that would be three choose two. This is more than that. This is, uh, I've got some, I've got choosing one, I've got choosing two, and at the bottom choosing three. When there's one more that we left off, there aren't really seven, there's actually eight because there's the zero choice. I chose no letters. And usually that's not allowed in a lot of problems. We have to choose some number of things. So let's generalize this a little bit. Instead of thinking about it uh, as, as all of these separate cases, instead we could say, well, do I pick the A or not? So yes, I choose A or no, I do not include A. So I have a choice to make for, for the letter A. And for the next element in the set, B, I have a choice. Do I keep it or do I not keep it? And then I have the same choice for C. Do I keep it or not keep it? In fact, that gives us two choices for each element of the set. So here we have a set of three elements, A, B, C, two choices each, that's eight or two cubed. If we remove the zero choice, that's two cubed minus one different combinations that are not, uh, that, are not that zero combination, the one that doesn't have anything in it. So in general, if you take any set A of size N, there are two to the n subsets of A, two to the n ways to pick uh, different combinations of things out of A. That's including the empty set. If you don't want to include the empty set, you've got to subtract one from the final result. So two to the n ways to pick combinations, unique combinations of n distinct items. But sometimes we have multiple things, like maybe I have three A's, two B's, and a C. Well, in that case, there are four choices for A. I could pick one, two, three A's, or I could pick no A's. Zero, one, two, or three is four choices. There's the B's would be three choices, and the C's, I have only one C, I can pick it or not pick it. That's two choices. Multiplying those together, I get 24, but that includes that zero choice where I pick no A's, no B's, and no C's, and so, if I subtract that, I have 23 different combinations of letters that I can choose from that list of uh, three A's, two B's, and one C. Now thinking back to Pascal's triangle for a second, remember that the third row in Pascal's triangle looked like this. This is how many ways can I choose zero items out of a group of three, one item, two items, three items. Well, those are all of the different cases that we're talking about. And so one plus three plus three plus one adds up to eight, that's two to the n, two to the three in this case. So as in general then, uh, for a situation where you have um, some copies of the elements, so this isn't really a set anymore because the elements are not unique anymore, but when you have copies of items like this, then what you do is you take the number of items here in each group that is identical and you add one to it. So there's one item called C, that means there are two choices. Two items called B, two plus one is three choices. Three items called A, uh, there are three plus one, four choices. Multiply those all together, you get the total number of combinations, and depending on the context, you might need to subtract one. Okay, I hope that helps you out. Play this again if you uh, didn't follow along all that well. Look in your textbook, there's another very similar explanation with lots of words and uh, less video. And uh, feel free to contact me, email, Twitter, or the blog if you have questions. And uh, I'll talk to you soon, and I'll see you Friday. Thanks.